Welcome to the HerbWorks Podcast featuring Roger Drummer, the formulator at HerbWorks.com. An educator in the field of nutrition and Chinese herbalism, Roger has a unique ability to keep things simple by taking all the guesswork out of complicated health issues. HerbWorks is committed to helping you improve your health and enhance your life through herbs and common sense. Roger Drummer here with another HerbWorks podcast. Today I want to talk about OLD syndrome and Tian Chi. Now in case you're wondering, OLD is a neurological disorder. It's actually a neurological disorder that I invented, uh, but it actually points out a real problem, and that is the aging brain. And you probably guessed that OLD spells old, and I came up with this concept because I was in the Apple store. And, you know, I'm in my 60s, so anybody in their 60s that goes into an Apple store is kind of intimidated. And you know how fast these young people that work there um, talk. And by the way, I don't know anybody that works there that's over 25. So they're all into computers, and they grew up with them. It's like an extension of their fingers or their brains. But anyway, I'm in there, and they're talking so fast. And, and I just looked at the girl and I said, can you slow down a bit? I have a neurological disorder. And she looked at me and she goes, oh, which one? I said, I have OLD syndrome. And I just let it die. And if you know me, I say everything really deadpan. So there's no smile. There's no nothing. It's just, a f- I stated a fact, right? Five minutes later into our conversation, she looks at me and she goes, smiled and said, I just got that. And then I thought to myself, well, maybe she has OLD syndrome, too. It took her five minutes to get that. But anyway, OLD is my private little joke that you have a little bit of memory pauses or lapses as you get older. And it doesn't happen to me a lot. And the reason for that is that I make a product for OLD syndrome. It's called Tian Chi. And one of the reasons why I made Tian Chi in the first place was to deal with Um, helping people with what they called at the time premature aging of the brain. So I had my own theories on that, and I've been working on this basically for the last 12 years. And I still hold to my original theory that most memory issues are not related so much to age, although I will admit that as you get older, certain things aren't as sharp as before. But Most of what you have going on in your brain, if you think you have a problem, is related to nutrition or a lack of nutrition. And normally this has been going on for decades. And this is one of the things that's very fascinating about the world of nutrition because people require different nutrients for different things. They require different forms depending on your genetics. They they require a lot of different things. But basically in this country... Because of the standard American diet, there's just a lot of things that your brain never actually gets enough of. And so this has probably been going on for a good 30 to 40 years. And now you're in your 50s and things are starting to happen to you. Maybe you're the guy at work that just doesn't seem to be able to keep up. Or maybe you just get so tired every day because you're dealing with so much information coming at you and how to sort through it all. You just feel like you can't keep up. If you're having that feeling, you more than likely are missing something that feeds the neurotransmitters in your brain that allow you to process information. You're probably missing some nutrient that your brain needs to keep your nervous system healthy. And yet we don't think about that in this country because it's just not the way that we grew up or we were trained as we were kids to think about anything. In fact, almost everybody in this country has been programmed through education, billboards, commercials, TVs, whatever you want to call it, to believe that if you have a problem, it's because you need a drug. Your body is defective and it's breaking down and you need to go get a pharmaceutical to fix it. But the reality is everything in your entire system runs on nutrition. And if you're missing some of it for a while, then that part of your system is not going to work. And you might not notice it right at first when you're in your 30s because your body has this amazing ability through homeostasis and self-regulation to just rob nutrients from somewhere else or to, to kind of move things around in your system to make up for lack somewhere else. And But after about 
the age of 40 and 50, it starts slowing down and you cannot make up for long-term deficiencies. And so if you're one of these people out there that is starting to notice that they're having memory issues, then you need to focus on how you can actually boot up your brain and make a difference to how your brain actually functions. You know what amazes me about nutrition and memory issues is that we don't have a process built into our system that tells us that we're missing something, that tells us that our maybe our brain is off or that we're lacking nutrition. You know, wouldn't it be interesting um, if we had something like the hunger pangs that you get when you're hungry, when your body actually needs fuel, you get hungry, or when you're thirsty, something happens, you just know right away you need, you got to have water, you got to have some liquid because you get thirsty. We don't have a mechanism that like that for our brain, but what if we, what if we actually do, and it's just called forgetfulness. What if forgetfulness is our trigger for telling us that our brain is just missing something? Now, if we could get the whole population in this country to realize that having bouts of forgetfulness is not a disease, it's actually a lack of something, then we could change the whole way that all these memory issues are affecting everybody in this country. And again, I'm doing something about it. This is what my whole life's about. I make a product that's actually designed to help you with the basics you need for your brain to function and so that you can start to deal with these memory issues before they become a medical issue. And that's what Tian Chi is about. It's about the two main things that are interrupting your brain function. One is stress, which causes an abnormal amount of inflammation in the memory center of your brain. And that inflammation destroys what they call the hippocampus, which is the kind of like the main part of your brain that deals with accessing and laying down of memory. And then it deals with the other issue, which is huge and what this is all about, which is the lack of nutrients. Your brain needs a certain amount of nutrients to perform every day and to fix itself. And as you get older, uh, I don't know which one's more important, whether it's the performing every day, just having a level of nutrients or fixing itself. But both are really important. You know, we have a, uh, in general, a choline deficiency in this country. And not, I'm sure most people don't ever think of something like choline, but it's just a nutrient that is really good for you. It's found in high amounts in certain types of fish and in eggs. In fact, the food with the most choline in it of all foods is an egg. Now, a lot of people avoid eggs because they've been, you know, digesting all this false information from the government and from the medical system about eggs causing and cholesterol causing heart attacks. But by avoiding that particular food, you've now cut down on the number one food that actually supplies you with choline. And choline is essential to your brain to make the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which is the neurotransmitter that determines how fast your brain processes information. So if you're feeling slow and can't keep up, you want to kind of look at what um, level of choline that you have in your diet. What are you doing every day to feed your brain? And again, this is why I put it in Tian Chi, because it's one of the most essential and one of the most lacking nutrients in the American diet is choline. And your brain can be suffering from this deficiency for 30 to 40 years. You know, another one, and we don't think about it much, is folic acid. Because, you know, the government put folic acid in the food supply. The whole idea was to cut down on the number of birth defects. And it did have an effect somewhat, cut it down by about 50%. But I find it surprising because, not surprising actually, when you looked at statistics, because about 50% of the country can't metabolize the folic acid that we put in the food supply. That is the only form that you can actually put into food because of the way it's stabilized and the way it actually functions. But most people are kind of crippled genetically in their ability to turn that form of folic acid into something that their nervous system needs. Now, think about this. 
folic acid in the form methylfolate, which is what I use in my formulas, and B12 in the form of methylcobalamin are essential to your system to make nerves and to make the myelin sheath on your nerves. So think about this. All the neurons in your brain are basically nerves, nerve cells. And if you're lacking those two nutrients, which there's a lot of evidence that a huge amount of the population never gets enough of it. In fact, both of those nutrients have, or the lack of, has been associated now with Alzheimer's disease. So if your brain's not getting it, not only do you not nurture your nervous system. In other words, your nervous system cannot form or grow new nerves or repair itself because of the lack of those two nutrients. In fact, even if you had enough choline without those two nutrients, you wouldn't be able to repair your nervous system because you just don't have the vitamins present at the moment to actually do that. So you can't repair your nervous system. And you can think about how that relates to certain issues outside of memory issues. Just look at MS. Uh, MS is an inflammation of the nerves damaging the myelin sheath. And it always surprises me. Well, it shouldn't surprise me because I've been in the nutrition field for so long. That when someone gets MS, they never tell them to take the three or four nutrients that allows them to repair their nervous system because that is an autoimmune disease where your body's attacking your nervous system. So it's breaking it down. So wouldn't it stand to reason that if you had a higher level of nutrients that built it back up, that you could slow that down or offset somewhat the effects of it? This podcast is brought to you by Herbworks, specializing in stress and brain essentials. Check out Roger's other articles and videos at Herbworks.com. While you're there, take a look at our natural herbal-based product line for energy, stress, immunity, and sleep. Now back to Roger. And so this is the whole thing with just general inflammation in your brain. Inflammation in your brain, like the inflammation that's caused when you have too much stress and too much stress hormone where it breaks down the hippocampus area of your brain, um, it breaks down or damages neurons in your brain. And again, if you have these nutrients, then your body at least has the substance available to repair itself. So it's an offsetting measure. It's, you know, it just makes common sense that we have to do something in this day and age where so many people are having memory issues to kind of offset that. And so it, it's fascinating to me how the big disconnect, I call it, between medicine and nutrition to where we're not ever being told anything that we can do on our own to actually help some condition that we have. You know, if it was my perfect world, I'd have a medical office with an herbalist and a nutritionist in it, and it'd be in every medical office in the entire country so that they could talk to each other and figure out what they could possibly be doing on their own to help themselves. Because what is the main goal of of modern medicine? It should be to help you actually feel better and to get better and to stay healthy. But, you know, that's another story. (laughs) So think about this. I decided 12 years ago that I was going to make an impact on what I now jokingly call OLD syndrome. But the reality is most of the country suffers from this. In fact, we now have a country where uh, we're so scared of dementia and Alzheimer's that the first time you find yourself forgetting something that it usually frightens you and you start to avoid doing anything about it. It's one of those things where you almost have this idea that you can't let anybody notice, although almost everybody you know notices because you're forgetting things. Um, But you don't want anybody to know it or to bring it up to you or to go to a doctor because you're afraid of what you're going to find out. Now, that's the perfect person to actually get on a nutrition program. Because you know what? At the early stages, most of these memory issues are just a lack of nutrition. It's too much stress, 
which depletes your nutrition and then a lack of nutrition on top of it. And you end up with a person who thinks they might have some other syndrome or a medical condition. Now, this is an interesting theory that I've been watching probably for 20 years in my own herbal practice. And I find that a lot of symptoms, what you would call symptoms in Western medicine that would lead you to get a diagnosis of something, are actually just deficiency syndromes that in Chinese medicine or nutrition can actually be corrected quite easily. But because we like to pigeonhole everybody in Western medicine to having a label, and so that label puts us in a category to where we get a certain type of treatment and we don't have to think about it anymore. We don't get into really deep testing of anything. Um, I just find that this crops up all the time. I've had clients that were told they were going to have lupus and probably have 15, 20 years to live, and turns out they were just what they call yin deficient in Chinese medicine. They took some herb products, and it went away. Um, because in medicine, they didn't look at their life and what was going on in it and correct the things that were happening due to extreme stress and being worn out. And that's all I did for them. You know, I don't have any magical substances for lupus, but I could see that the person was burned out they were experiencing a lot of inflammation and I dealt with that. And you know what? Two or three weeks later, they were fine. They went back to the doctor and they changed their diagnosis. So these are, th- these are things that happen to me quite regularly. I had a girl one time who was in my office crying about a brain tumor that she was dying from. And she was going in to get her last test to tell her how bad the treatment was going to be and everything. And I gave her a drink for stress to move her liver energy and to relax her nervous system. At the same time, I gave her a shoulder and neck massage because there was nobody else in the store. I wasn't busy at all. And I was a massage therapist at the time. And she had this huge knot on her shoulder, which I got to release. And she turned around and looked at me and said, I don't have a headache. I go, yeah, is that unusual? She goes, I've had a headache for 30 days. That's why I went to the doctor for my, and found out I had a tumor on my pituitary. <laughs> and so, and so uh, she went, ended up going to the doctor that week and they couldn't find anything wrong with it, right? So this girl thought she was dying for a week. So what was she? She was just extremely stressed out. And her body was manifesting it as knots in her neck and her shoulder and an extreme headache for 30 days. And so I'm pointing this out because there's a lot of things that go on in health that get pigeonholed in Western medicine to be a disease, right? You got to look at your life and look at what's going on, how you can control your stress, and then look at your diet to see what kind of level of nutrition you have and be willing to make changes, Changes to the patterns of behavior that give you so much stress. Changes to your diet and your nutritional program that allow you to just feel differently. That give your body an ability to boot up or to change things or how you feel. And so these are just some examples from all the years that I was an herbalist and practicing and things. But I've just noticed this a lot with many, many different things. When someone radically changes their diet, starts an herb program, which changes your internal health, you know, most Chinese herbs, especially adaptogens, give energy and vitality back to your glandular system and your internal organs. And it's like your whole body reboots. It's kind of like um, jumping the battery in your car. Everything starts to fire differently. And within a week or two, you can feel completely different. Look at how many different syndromes in life could be just caused by the fact that you're worn out. You know, and and a lot of this, again, happens to your brain. If you're nutrient deficient and you're having a diet that doesn't have very many nutrients in it, then the stress that you have, the everyday physical, mental, emotional stress that you have, uses those nutrients up at a much higher rate. So then you become really deficient in it and your body just will not function. You know, I have countless stories about people that just took omega-3 fatty acids and their life seemed to change after a week because their brain was so deficient of DHA. I have a really good friend who um, 
I turned on to the methylfolate, which I now have in tea on tea. It was, this was back before I actually put it in my drink. And I convinced her to go out and buy a bottle. And she was only taking a capsule that had one milligram in it, right? She noticed a difference in one day. One cap she took, and she noticed a difference. It was like her whole brain changed. Why? She was obviously someone who doesn't process folic acid, and that nutrient just completely changed the way her brain felt. She just felt so much more present, so much able to, more able to focus, so much just in the moment, because her brain just kind of locked into a new uh, level of functioning just from one single nutrient. And believe me, a lot of people, especially if you're one of those people that's not on any herbal program at all or a nutritional program, um, having a product that is just right for your brain will make you feel completely different quite quite um, easily, actually, and really fast. This is why a lot of people tell us they feel like their life has changed within a few days of taking tea on chi. It's not just because it gives them more energy. It's because... For the first time ever, their nervous system relaxes and their brain gets a high level of nutrients. It needs to function. But you know, this is just a fact. Very few Americans are proactive in doing something about their brain health. You know, it's it's not even just singling out brain health. How many people think of their health in any way until they have a problem? And again, why is that? Because we're always taught that If something breaks down, we're defective and we have to go see a doctor and figure out what's actually going on. Uh, The greatest thing about being in the health field is being in a position to look at things and see things before they develop into big major illnesses. And that's just kind of a part of what Chinese medicine is about. You ever hear the old lantern story in Chinese medicine? It's one of my favorites when I first got into it. But back in ancient China... If you were a doctor and you had a patient who died, you had to hang a lantern on your porch. And so if you had a lot of lanterns, then you started to lose a lot of business because people didn't want to go to a doctor who didn't see other people's problems before they become major issues and had patients die. Because Chinese herbology was all based on you just went to see your herbalist or doctor once every couple of weeks, even if you felt great, and he took your pulse and listened to a few things and then gave you some herbs to offset one little thing that he might have noticed in your health so it never develops into anything. You know, we don't have that same idea here in the West, in America, but we have nutrition, which is different. So nutrition allows us to have a high level of nutrients so that we don't end up with deficiency states of nutrients So our body just works longer at a higher level of function and we don't run into deficient symptoms so easily. And this is kind of how adaptogenic herbs and tonic herbs work. They're all about correcting deficiencies in your system and helping your body regulate itself so you avoid long-term issues with things with stress. And in this regard, we're talking about the type of stress that damages your brain. You know, it's one of those things you have to look at because inflammation is at the core of almost every chronic disease and stress, producing too much stress hormone, just pushes inflammation. So taking the herbs like the herb formula I have in Tian Chi, it lowers inflammation in your liver. It's really good for your brain. It resets your response to stress. And so it lower. In fact, we have quite a few adaptogens in our formula that have been clinically proven to lower stress hormone over a period of time. And so these are just preventative measures you can take. But believe me, if you're out there and you're over 50 and you're starting to just forget your keys or you forgot all the things you're supposed to pick up at the grocery store, these are things that aren't just related to the fact that you didn't write something down or you just didn't concentrate enough. It's probably related to the fact that you're a little bit tired and you're not on a program that feeds your brain. And you've reached a point in your life where you need to start doing some basic maintenance and start taking care of yourself in a different way. You know, you would never let your car go more than two or 3,000 miles without changing the oil. 
and yet most people haven't changed their own personal oil in probably the whole time they've been alive. So if you kind of start thinking about that, basic maintenance, that there's certain things you have to do all the time, then you'll start to realize that your body works so much better when it's actually maintained and you get on a maintenance program. And again, that's why I created most of my products because the number one thing that throws the wrench into everything is stress. The lack of your ability to flow in and out of stress is what wears you out, ruins your energy, and, and inappropriately uses up your stores of nutrition. And so and that's really what Tian Chi is all about. Putting something in your body every day that feeds your brain, helps balance your liver energy, gives you a little bit of an immunity boost, and regulates your response to stress. So, you know, I've had some amazing, amazing um, things happen when I started making my original formula, which is now called TNG. I remember clear back in the first year when I was still putting this together and, and moving forward with my theory on how the brain is suffering from a lack of nutrients or what I called starvation of the brain. And I really wanted to do something to change the world of memory issues. This is why I talk about brain coherence so much. Coherence just means that the entire brain is communicating with itself. The brain's a very, very complex thing. And when you're stressed out, there's only a few parts of your brain that are actually working. It drops down into fight or flight and everything's about survival, everything's about the fight that's in front of you. And when you shut that off, the whole rest of the brain lights up. And so you have access to all parts of your brain. I've seen this story repeated hundreds of times, where people have major, major issues and take a formula and their life changes. They're able to actually communicate differently. They're able to do things they've never done before. They participate in things in life they've never done before. And you think it's because they some miracle happened. And you know what? It's not a miracle. It's actually just feeding your brain what it needs to fully thrive and function and to go into a state of homeostasis or coherence and communicate with itself. That's a magical thing in and of itself. In this day and age when we're so stressed out, we're so hurried, we're so pushing ourselves to the brink almost every single day, the one thing we always forget and never really focus on and it's the last thing we want to spend money on is actually nutrition and something that's just for us. Yeah, This is what you have to remember about nutrition. It's about not about somebody else. It's about you. It's about you taking care of you and helping you to actually be the best that you can actually be every day because you have a functioning brain. You have a high-level functioning brain, and you know it's not going to happen for you, especially as you age, unless you pay attention to the amount of nutrients you take in every day that are specific for brain function and how you deal with stress. Now, I have to tell you, I don't experience OLD that much. I know it was funny when I went into the Apple store and I said that. But, you know, a lot of that has to do with just my age and the fact that I'm technologically challenged anyway. I'm just not someone who put a lot of time in on the computer. So I can get confused with that. Uh, in other phases of life, I have a very sharp memory and a very quick wit. But I will tell you some things that make me feel like I have OLD syndrome. And those are things I pay attention to now. Because if I miss a few nights sleep, I can really tell the difference in how sharp I am and how my memory works. And if I've caught a cold or a flu or something, I, I notice during that time too, I'm just not as sharp as I normally am. And so the main thing that I, I look to every day now is how much sleep do I get? Because, you know, that's the time of the day when your brain actually rests and it cleans itself and it recovers from the day. You know, we didn't know this information 10 years ago, but your brain goes through a process by which it actually cleanses itself. It's kind of like the lymph node system of your physical body, but there's a different channel system in your brain which 
four or five times every night if you're in a deep sleep, it will actually wash itself and move toxins out of your brain. The other great thing about sleep especially if you've taken some adaptogenic herbs during the day, is that you will go into a deep sleep and you'll shut off the stress response. For a lot of people that are so locked into their stress every single day, um, sleep is usually the only time they can shut it off. And it becomes much easier to do that if you've actually had some adaptogenic herbs during the day because those herbs are working to help your body reestablish its own proper rhythms and to reset the HPA axis, which is the part of your glandular system that controls the stress response. It's about HPA axis health and resetting your brain and the stress response. So I have a formula inner piece if you just want to take herbs by itself. People that take tea on chi in the morning, one of the main things that they tell us is that they sleep deeper at night. So how can something that you take in the morning, at 8 o'clock in the morning, actually help you sleep late at night? It's because it's based on adaptogenic herbs, which helps your glandular system go into a state of self-regulation and start shutting off the stress response. And when you're healthy, as the night comes on, your body naturally if it has an established rhythm, starts to help put you to sleep. And then when you fall asleep, you shut off the stress response. So all these things are happening just because you actually made the decision to take care of yourself. Now, if you're one of those people that has a really hard time falling asleep, I got this formula called Sleep and Recover, which is a combination of herbs, melatonin, theanine, all these special things to help you fall into a deep sleep, and then adaptogenic herbs to help repair your nervous system and your adrenals while you are sleeping. So all these things are just ideas that you could use to help heal your memory, because really that's my main focus in life is dealing with memory issues and helping people realize that they don't really have a memory issue. They might just be falling into OLD syndrome, which is just a sign, just like getting thirsty is a sign, getting hungry is a sign. You're just falling in or having a sign telling you that it's time to take care of your brain. It's time to pay attention and to start feeding your brain a really good diet and a good formula of nutrients and herbs that actually helps peak brain function and and helps maintain brain function for the rest of your life. So that's what Tian Chi is about. Really, that's what Herb Works is about, helping you to do all those things and protect your brain from premature aging. This is Roger Drummer. Thanks for tuning in to the Herb Works podcast. And if you want more information, go to HerbWorks.com.